What's going on, NDM crew? Now, in this video, this is the key. This right here is what has been holding up the build for so long. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm gonna tell you the truth, this is our second one. So, this is the rear main seal in the car. This is the last thing that has been holding up us getting that engine in the damn car. Now, we actually had already done an intro for this video. Yep, we did a video. We started filming. And a little bit through it, we broke this seal, putting it in. The beauty of having a car like mine that's old and parts are not really very readily available is that you get to order stuff and it takes weeks to come in. So this just prolongs the build. So finally this is this piece right here is in. Obviously, because it's in my hand. I mean, where else would it be? So the engine will be going in the car tonight. Yes, it is. It is 8.30 and I'm not going to be going to bed. Just had a coffee and let's get to work. Hopefully you guys will see the engine running, the car running. Finally, finally, we've been talking about it for so long. Without further ado, I'm gonna shut up and let's get this rear main seal in without breaking it and let's plop the engine in. A little bit more complicated than that. You'll see what we gotta do. So to keep this very simple, get your hoist up to height. If you don't know this little trick that I'm showing you right now, um, works very good so you don't have to pump it a thousand times to get this up to height if it's all the way down. Then you just want to get your chain on here mounted as best as you can. Make sure it's even in the middle. Lift it up, take the stand off, put your seal in, then it's just flywheel clutch. And then we'll start getting ready to actually put this bad boy in the car. Let's do it. Right, guys it is now the next day as you just saw the engine is in the car finally freaking finally now one other thing I wanted to mention when I was talking about that seal now that's not all bad news we had some good come out of that as well gave us a lot more time to go over and recheck everything on the engine double check everything was perfect and good thing we did because we actually ended up timing the engine wrong now the way it works is you have the cam we have those two dots where the actual chains line up on the bottom, but there's also three holes on that cam sprocket, and it, we put it on number three, where the dowel hits on the actual uh, camshaft, and you have to put it on number one. 
So the, the timing mark on the chain was set to number one, but the actual cam pulley, the, the sprocket, was set in the wrong place. So we had to rearrange that, but now we're good to go. Yeah, so we double checked everything. So that was actually good news, because if we actually put the engine in, it would have just been bad news, bad, bad news. So now we're gonna go ahead, finish up all the wiring harness stuff, finishing off the cooling stuff, all the hoses, and hopefully we can get this bastard started. Turn that damn key. So, let's do this stuff. This is it guys, this is, this is what we've all been waiting for. Over a year's time, well almost a year's time of having this car off the road, in the garage, it is gonna start. And I can tell you that because it's already started. Now, my voice is gone because I was yelling for three and a half hours after I got it started. You, might, might, you guys might be saying, why didn't you put the first start on tape? Now, we were planning on doing that. Roll these other shots. So as you can tell by these clips, we couldn't get the car started. We wanted to get the first start up for you guys. It just didn't work. Um, car didn't want to start and it turned out to be an ignition timing issue, but before we went through that, we did a bunch of other testing and stuff. We will do another video on how we troubleshooted what the actual problem was, just in case you guys are running through some other non-started issues on your car. I'm gonna not bore you here. I'm really excited. So let's get this thing fired up for you guys. Shit, it's a beast. Is that loud enough for you guys? That's just the header on there. So hopefully you guys could actually pick up uh, anything more than just static and white noise. All right, that's it for this video. Get ready for a lot more videos to come. <laughs>